Okay, so a lot of um, a lot of you guys are planning to take a trip. Like travel opportunities are coming through. So what I am getting here is um, for the past two weeks, things have been things have been really really good for a lot of you. Um, a lot of group association friendships, establishing like a new um, social environment, and I do feel that in general there has been. A lot of people, you know, coming back into your life, like friends that you haven't seen for a while and catching up with them and trying to incorporate them into your present situation and catching up with friends mainly is what I'm getting. There's also a lot of success, I feel, with the sun in the uh, past position, which indicates overall joy, contentment and um, a lot of like a, a very worry free type of energy associated with it. I do feel that in a family environment, a lot of you are still under, I guess, like under the scrutiny of a very, very strong maternal figure, okay? This could be a grandmother, an aunt, a guardian that you are dealing with, your own mother even, or even your own maternal instincts. For those of you who are dealing with children, there might be a sense of like, um, you know, overstepping your, your boundaries. They might overstep their boundaries with you. And I do feel there is a very strong mother associated with it because we have the Empress as the crowning energy in the reverse position. So this is um, also like plays in with your tendency to, um, to not know when to be detached from people and when to, you know, um, give advice, okay? So advice unsolicited is going to create a lot of resentment and stall communication between you and another person. So when they ask for advice, make sure, you know, you give them adequate advice. But when it's not solicited, then just, you know, keep try to keep your opinions to yourself. I do feel that that's going to be much better coming in through for the rest of this month. A lot of you who might be dealing with like an overbearing mother figure in your life, I do feel the same thing applies. Um, there might be things about your life that you feel, you know, other people don't really have a say. And rightfully, they don't really have a say. They're not you. They don't really have a say as to how and what you should do with your life. And I do feel like for those of you who are dealing with overbearing mother figures or just maternal figures in your life, or even like, you know, um, uh, an older sister who might have, you know, seen, treated you like a, a child, or who is very overprotective of you, they might offer their advice unsolicited and it does um, irk you a little bit and it does um, upset you. So just calmly tell them that, you know, I appreciate the advice, but please don't offer advice when it's not solicited. Um, I've actually had to do this with a few people and um, people don't get offended when you do that. I mean, if anything, they, they're kind of taken back, but they know that, that they've overstepped their boundaries. So, um, if you find yourself in that situation, just, you know, take a step back and calmly tell people, you know, that um, I appreciate it, but I didn't ask for your opinion. So, you know, don't tell me how I should live my life. I mean, you know, you don't have to say it like that, but just as long as they are aware that, yes, we didn't ask for your opinion. So, you know, you don't have to voice your opinion especially when it concerns other people's lives. So if you are under a, the scrutiny or under the, the guided direction of somebody and who's trying to control your life, I do feel um, be as curt and as uh, firm as you can, but at the same time, be polite about it, okay? I, I do feel that is going to get you far for this um, the last two weeks of August. And you might be in a situation where you feel as if um, you feel very stifled. I, I do feel a stuffy energy. It's sort of like um, you're a lot of you are contemplating a vacation, okay, or you want a vacation because the work situation, the home situation itself is very, very um, stuffy is what I'm sensing. Whereas your social circle is expanding, you have a lot of good people in your um, midst who are very emotionally supportive. This could be friends and lovers. However, the the work and the home situation is a little bit problematic. And as a result, you might have an inclination to want to escape it all, you know, to daydream and also to move away, like um, physically sail away, ask for a vacation, or even, you know, plan that next dream vacation. Just because it's a little bit stuffy where you are, okay? 
I do feel here what's in your environment that you're not aware of, once again, is the Eight of Swords. This is somebody in your environment, and they seem a little bit clueless, okay? So they're kind of, um, you know, in the traditional Rider Waite deck, they are blindfolded, tied up, you know, surrounded by swords, but their legs are free, so they technically can walk away from it. In this deck, it's even more visible that you they're not blindfolded so they know exactly what they're doing it's just um they don't i would say that whoever it is that you're dealing with and there has been like conflictual um you know like um interactions between the two of you i do feel that um they they know what they're doing however this is kind of like their childhood conditioning you know they they are they're itching for a fight they're itching to make other people swarm. They might be somebody of an air element because of all the sword energies. They might be somebody of an air element, like an, um, a Gemini, a, an Aquarius, a Libra, where they like the, the debate. They like the intellectual rapport, but they, they tend to beat a dead horse. You know, they tend to like go over discussions and they, they tend to just, um, they, they like to agitate or at least surprise the people that they're interacting with, which can create a very jarring, um, and it's not a very mutually harmonious type of interaction, okay? So this person, I do feel that they are aware of it. They can't help themselves because it is a childhood conditioning. It's sort of like when you're raised in a household, okay, and um, your parents always undermine you and you have to, like, fight your siblings for, you know, attention and for, yeah, just for your, your parents' attention. Then you grow up, you become very argumentative, you become very defensive. And you just become like overall like very jittery. You don't have a moment's, um, and you might even have like um, separation anxiety. So this is a person that is, you know, conditioned by their childhood environment and by their upbringing. In spite of themselves, they become very um, entangled in arguments and they're very nitpicky. And the way they do things, it's a little bit aggravating. So... I do feel a lot of you are going to be leaving very domineering people and especially, um, you know, air signs, especially those that you you consider friends, people who are in your social circle who have who have proven to be OK. So people in your social circle and people in your family situation that have been proven to be, you know, controlling and also argumentative. So you're just telling yourself, I don't really have time for that. I'd rather, you know, maintain my own emotional health and my peace of mind. So I am going to do me, you know, so I'm selling on and I'm going to enjoy this sunset by myself rather than allowing these people into my life or to bring me down with them. So I actually really enjoy the way this card is depicted um, in this deck. It's the Six of Swords in the traditional Rider Waite deck. The swords are still on the boat with the woman and the, the child who are um, traveling to a safer or calmer waters, okay? In this deck, the swords are not in the boat. It's not in the, you know, inside or on the boat. So the woman is actually leaving everything behind. So this is a much better energy and a much better depiction. It indicates, you know, leaving the past behind and not carrying that emotional baggage with you. So not only are you walking away physically, you're also walking away emotionally and mentally and you're cutting ties with the past. It could also indicate traveling as well because of the stuffiness surrounding your home and your work situation, which is... um inspiring you to plan a next voyage okay I do sense as well that um, there is going to be continuation of the conflict coming in for the next two weeks um, I do have the Queen of Wands in the reverse position which indicates to me that um, a lot of you might this is quite strange because I do feel that um, Aries in general are quite aggressive. Aries men, women, you know, just Aries, especially Aries rising, are quite aggressive. But um, I do feel here that when it comes to family situations, when it comes to people that um, you have a long history with, a lot of you overlook many, many things. And a lot of you, like, don't say your piece. And you might let other people walk all over you. So I do feel in this situation here, the advice is um, I'm sensing here 
the advice is one of two ways for those of you who are planning a trip who are planning like a change of your physical environment mainly because you want newness and you want a permanent change in your environment I do feel that um, what's troubling here is do it for yourself okay you're not doing doing it to spite other people you're not doing it to show them that um you know like like to to cause like the the drama which is you know i'm moving away this is your last chance to apologize to me or this is your last chance to speak to me so don't taunt other people okay and i'm sensing here that for those of you who are planning to move away, who are planning to cut other people off, it would be in your best interest to do it quietly. I do sense like walking away this time without an explanation, without even like a goodbye. It's um, it's going to make a stronger statement and it is going to be the right thing to do. So rather than re-engaging in this conflict and, you know, telling people that, oh, I'm, I'm going to leave, it's much better for you to get a clean break and this move is for you it's not really for them to realize that oh they let a good thing go and they should come back and apologize okay so approach this in a more like um in a high minded fashion which is that you know you you can't engage in this anymore so you need to go and no matter what you're going to go quietly because it's not about the fanfare it's not about you know um uh, taunting the other people it's this move is for me and that's all I care about so I need to get myself out okay so if that's the situation go quietly okay I do feel that there are blockages in your external environment here um, we have the Emperor in the external environment and I do feel that um, external to you this is family friends and things like that you are very very well supported okay um, friends and family the ones that are true and dear to you you are going to get a lot of blessings and a lot of support f with them there's um I'm sensing here a lot of you are traveling away like relocating um, permanently you know like going somewhere else like going somewhere far away a lot of you might be planning a, a, a long trip so what I'm getting here is there's blessings from friends and family. There's even festivities. They're taking you out, celebrating one last time, or they're giving you like um, gifts or, you know, um, gift certificates, gift cards, so that you can reestablish yourself once you reach your destination, okay? At the same time, you have really, really high hopes and aspirations for this trip. What I am getting here is, um, you know, this is the card of the world. Everything is opening up for you. And this is in the hopes and fears position. And obviously, this is a hopes. You're hoping for expansion. You're hoping for more opportunities. So what I'm getting here is, what I'm sensing mainly is, um, I'm sensing a very, very permanent relocation. I'm sensing a very... Um, it's almost like a, a very long trip, okay? However, this card is um, speaking to me. Mainly, if you look at her, she doesn't have any luggage with her, okay? At the same time, the energy is corroborated by the Empress in the reverse position. This is a self-made woman in the reverse position. She is like very, she's on very, very shaky ground. So what I'm getting here is, I do feel that a lot of you are not sure about this trip because, you know, there's lack of luggage. A lot of you are, like, doing this in, uh, I wouldn't say it's for show, but it's sort of like you're at the point in your life where you have really high hopes and aspirations, but you feel as if there are still a, still a lot of lingering attachments holding you back and not preventing you to, you know, not, not offer not letting you go there might be a person from your past especially a fire sign a fellow fire sign that is coming through that is wanting to re-engage and reconnect with you okay because we have the six of cups which does indicate a blast from the past this is somebody that you've once had like great you know emotional physical chemistry with so the blast from the past is coming back you are like emotionally physically you're trying to move on but there's a sense of like, what if, you know, there's that sense of trepidation about you, like, um, 
am I making the right choice? And I do feel that you are. I do sense that this is going to be a much better move for you. But you have to convince yourself of that, okay? And you have to prepare yourself accordingly. Because I do feel that um, you're not well equipped yet to enter the new venture, okay? And to enter the new phase in your life. Mainly because there's still a lot of um, lingering attachments holding you back, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, I guess the best way to do this is to say that, like, physically, emotionally, you're moving on. But mentally, um, I guess your heart and your head haven't really processed the gravity of this major life decision just yet. At the same time, your mind is still a little bit fearful of the future. Your heart knows it's the right thing to do because... Um, I'm looking at this card and I do feel, you know, the heart, it's a hard, heart choice because um, this is an emotional choice and because of it, you don't really trust it. Being a fire sign, I do feel a lot of you might not be in tune with your motives and also, you know, like um, your feelings. So it takes you a long time to process your feelings and to allow your heart and your head to reach the same conclusion. So I do feel in intuitively, you know, it's the right choice and your heart is already in it. But your mind is still mired in self-doubt. Like, what if I'm leaving a good thing behind? What if I can't find this other thing in my new location? And like, what if I, you know, like, am I really doing the right thing at this point in my life? So there's a lot of trepidation and hesitation. But I can assure you that you are doing the right thing. Traveling is always good for us. So... You have good cards here. You have support from your external environment. And I do feel no matter what, you are going to land on your feet because Aries are very, very versatile. You are survivors. And I do feel you're going to be just fine, okay? There are things that you can do to get your mind in the right place so that you're not mired in self-doubt. But I do feel that this is one of those learning processes, you know. Um, relocation is never easy. And I do feel that it is a drastic life decision that you're making. This is like the next big phase in your life and that's why it's a major choice so once again because it is an important choice take some time with it and also like um don't you know waver don't oscillate back and forth be firm in your resolve make up your mind and do things that um reaffirm your decision so for example if you ma made up your mind that you're going to move to i don't know so if you're living in, you know, Canada, for example, for those of you who are in Canada watching this, and you're planning to move to like New York City in the USA, set a time frame for yourself. Tell yourself, I am going to physically move to, you know, New York City. Set a time frame for yourself. Like realistically, you probably need a month to get, you know, sell your car, find a new apartment, find a new job, and, um, you know, find a... a sever the lease that you currently have so realistically set a deadline for yourself like you know the 15th of september and then start cleaning up the house start selling the car get yourself mentally prepared or at least get yourself mentally in the same mind space as your heart okay so that you can enter this new phase in your life or you can follow through with your decision in a way that's not a um it's not abrupt and it's not disruptive to your heart and head flow. So I am saying this mainly because the outcome, I do have three cards, which is, you know, it, it's a little bit destabilizing. I don't want to worry you and I don't want to this to be like a cause for concern. But I do feel that a lot of you are kind of rushing into this or a lot of you are like um, thinking about relocating mainly because the environment is so stuffy and you don't want to confront it, okay? So that's what I'm sensing. Like, what are your reasons for really wanting this major, major change in your life? Are there, like, less drastic, you know, decisions that you can make to bring about the same effect, you know, to bring about newness without a drastic overhaul of your life, okay? I do sense um, because you're approaching this situation and you don't have luggage and baggage with you, it might, I don't mean emotional baggage. It's just like if you are moving from one place to, to the next and you're planning to live there for like the next five years, 
it is good to travel light, but I do feel that um, you're not prepared, okay? You're not prepared in a practical, in a down-to-earth way. So I feel that the housing situation might not be in order or it might be like um, not the best location or there's something important related to the housing. It's sort of like settling or telling yourself, you know, I'll wing it when I get there, I'll find a house situation. So you are going to contend, for those of you who are leaving, I do feel that you are going to contend with a very, very temporary housing situation when you get there. And this is something, it's in the reverse position, so it does indicate to me that this is something that you are well aware of. And you are, you know, a fire sign, and as such with your nature, I do feel that a lot of you are going to try to wing it and, you know, figure things out logistically when you get there. However, um, I do feel an element of time is going to be a little bit wasted, okay? So just be very, very careful when it... I, I don't feel any travel delays, but I do sense that logistically, it's a little bit difficult to get things in the timing and the order that you want. So a little bit planning, a little bit more planning is still going to be required of you. We do have the seven of... Um, Seven of Cups in the reverse position, so which indicates, you know, choices dissipating and uh, a lot of clarity regarding, you know, what's left. So I do feel that um, people might have promised like lodging, you know, they might have um, promised that they, they'll come and help you. And you're kind of like depending on that a little bit too much. So you're ready, you're kind of like um, heading in and hoping for the best and I do feel that more than anything it is a little bit problematic but I do feel you are going to be able to get through this okay so for those of you who are like thinking about that move or walking away from somebody altogether make up your mind to walk away don't doubt yourself and don't walk back to it okay for those of you who have dealt with like air signs and fire signs in the past and the air signs might be a little bit problematic if they are deciding to pop back in and you're planning to put and you're thinking about putting your plans on hold for this air sign. I don't feel it is going to work out very well. For those of you who are dealing with a fire sign, a fellow fire sign, um, depending on, I do feel the fire sign coming around this time around. They are sincere, but once again, it is your life, okay? It is your life. So do things that are good for you, because I do feel at the end of this voyage, it would be best for you to be on your own. I do sense that it would be good for you to just completely live on your own and be on your own for some time, all right?